would you like to live in a home that thinks, drinks, and breathes? Home Alive is an eco-friendly straw bale home that generates its own energy, collects and recycles its own water, and it filters its own air naturally. It's a lived-in demonstration at the Everdale Environmental Learning Center. Well, the Everdale Environmental Learning Center started about, um, I guess, 97 was our first season as an organic farm. We um, decided to develop a small workshop schedule around solar, water heating, straw bale construction and see what kind of interest there was. And it turned out there was a lot of interest. So over the years, we've uh, renovated a lot of the spaces and developed a lot of workshops for public. So a couple of years ago, Ben Pauly, who was our straw bale workshop instructor, had this whole other thing happening with uh, the National Home Show in Toronto and they were interested in demonstrating a straw bell, a full straw bell house at the National Home Show as a feature model. One of his main obstacles was where to put the house afterwards and it was a perfect fit. This is a straw bale house. Uh, from the exterior it's tough to know that it looks like any high-end stucco finished home. The idea of straw bale building then has been around for about a century, but it sort of started to enjoy a renaissance, uh, if you will, um, maybe about 15, 20 years ago in the States and about uh, seven or eight years ago in Ontario, it started to really pick up steam. They perform better than a conventional home and yet they cost about the same amount. There are almost 150 different products and systems in, the, in this house, but one that I actually personally like um, is because it's, it's currently very relevant. Um, and that is to do with the heating. You'll see on either side of the roof, there are a number of tubes that look kind of like giant fluorescent light bulbs. Those are actually solar hot water collectors. And on a sunny day like this, they are so hot that they'll boil water on contact. Those are producing all of the hot water needs for our shower uses, for our taps, and moreover, they're actually producing all the heat that we need to heat the house. The wind turbine, together with the photovoltaics, provide uh, an estimated 80% of the power needs of this house. That was the estimate. So far, in two months of use within the house, we have generally uh, been producing more power than we can actually use. You'll notice that our roof is made of steel um, as opposed to asphalt shingle. So we're actually using the roof water and storing it in a large 10,000 liter cistern from which we're actually going to take that water, pass it through a sand, what's called a biofilter, and from that it's going to go past a ultraviolet light for final disinfection. In total, it's a non-chemical treatment system of rainwater, allowing us to use that for all of our drinking water needs, all of our showers, all of our fixtures. I will be moving into this house, so it's going to be a lived-in demonstration. And the advantage of that means that, or the advantage of that to us is that we'll be able to find out what things work really well and what things didn't work out the way we intended. Uh, the main intent behind this house is not to um, astound people with things that are futuristic, but rather things that they can incorporate right now into their daily living. All of you, I would expect, could walk through the house and find at least one thing that you can imagine incorporating yourself. Um, so there are 150 different items in there. Everybody's going to find something that appeals to them on a different level. And what I would hope is that everybody does exactly that, walks through the house and looks for the types of things that they could imagine themselves doing to reduce their personal impact on the earth and to make a house that's more livable for them and their family. It'll be open to the public as a demonstration model on Saturdays from June till September. But we also incorporate it into our, obviously, our solar workshops and our grey water and our wind power workshops because it's a perfect demonstration of how those things can be in, incorporated into a, a residential home.